Greetings everyone, it's IT2, and I want to be streaming Diablo 2 right now. I got the resurrected stream the last couple of days. I'm trying to get back on right now, but I'm making videos because you guys have requested them. I just made it my mushroom video, and I'm about to make another video on a new hobby I have. But first, just to catch you up on how weird today has been. Uh, if you've been watching my stream, the last two days I've had gnats all in my house, and yesterday... I realized they must be coming from somewhere, like in the movies when you find a dead body and they go down to the basement. And so I went down to my basement and I had my sewage drain was leaking where it comes from the kitchen sink. And gnats, I guess, had laid eggs in the sewage, the poops. And <laughs> there's little microscopic larvae worms like crawling around. So I brushed all that shit off and cleaned it up. And then I called the uh, plumbering guys and they came today it was yesterday when I called them so I've also been using these citronella candles to keep the house like kind of like I'll make rooms that are gnat free that I can survive in it's kind of like being held hostage it's really bad the plumbers came out and they gave me an estimate of like 450 bucks to fix it and then they went and talked to their supervisor and realized it's going to be an even harder thing to fix and they said it's going to be like a thousand bucks or was it 1200 Maybe it was twelve hundred. It was something crazy. I was like, "Nah, let me just pay you your fee for coming out here, and y'all get lost, and I'll figure it out myself." So I went to Lowe's and got like a little rubber sleeve and some straps, and I just like <laughs> I jury rigged it, and I guess it's gonna work. Cause I don't know, that's that's way too much to be spending on a drain pipe. Uh, also, while they were there, I took my dog down the pond and I had my little animal trap set up there and I had a live cat in it. Like a neighborhood cat got in there trying to eat my Fritos cheese jalapeno dip. <laughs> and my dog was freaking out and I had to let that cat go. That's crazy. So, I think that's all the crazy crap that's happened today. So, I'm going to do an unboxing for you guys on my new hobby. Uh, I'm going to tell you about I'm trying to teach you how to do this as well. I was at my mom's house. And my mom had a Rubik's Cube, and uh, I learned how to solve it. Check that out. This, uh, I don't know what the, the red, white, and blue looks cool like this, but also like the red, white, and the orange. Where's that? Like that. That reminds me of something. That looks like, what's that website that had instant action, had the rocket ball? Kind of looks like tribes a little bit, like a website that was based around tribes. Or something like that. Uh, and this is... It took me three days to finish this. I was fucking around with it at my parents' house. I had no idea what I was doing. Just trying to do it by yourself. It's pretty much impossible if you don't use, like, techniques. There's algorithms you gotta learn. And it's cool because you... It's like... It's not like learning a language. It's kind of like memorization. And then... Once you learn it, you gotta, like, try to get fast. So... I started watching tutorials on the interwebs at work. And uh, I figured out how to do it. it. Took me three days to finally like get it right. And then the next one took me like 35 minutes because I figured it out. And then today I did one that was like 15 minutes. And then I did another one that was like six or seven minutes. I mean, I got this sucker down pretty quick now. I'll still like I'll mess up halfway through and I have to like correct myself and fix it. But sometimes if I if I don't mess up, I can do it like real quick. So this is like a bunch of like different Rubik's Cubes and there's like a speedier version of this because this is a real crappy one. Like this is a sport. People get so into this that they will like buy lubrication that you take it apart and you put it in the joint so you can do it real fast. Like this one doesn't even have like what they call edge cutting. Like if you're doing this, you can like, if you get it just like, you can kind of cut the edge and like do a little faster than normal if you got a little smoother edges. This is like a shitty one, like a five dollar one. Uh, I think the one I got, the speed cube I got, is maybe like eight dollars. So it's only like three dollars more for a good one, I think. But they got some that are like 30, 40 bucks, so that's about what you play for Diablo 2. So I'm gonna mix this all up, and I'm gonna show you how it works. I'm gonna show you how to do a Rubik's cube. So there's a few. They call them algorithms that you can gotta learn. There's like a lefty one and a righty one, and then there's one where you turn like the face a couple of times in different ways, and then there's like spinning the cube is a different kind of a thing. So I'm gonna try to get this really mixed up. I don't know if like in professional tournaments if they have it like 
where there's no two colors together or something. See, like that, I got four yellows together. You'd think that would help you out, but it doesn't really help you out. So, see, now I got the four whites together. It's hard to get it where they're all, like, not touching. There's three greens. It doesn't matter. So, basically, I'll give you a, a newbie tutorial of how this works. Um, so, the way you think about a Ruby Skew, I got this down low so you can see me doing stuff. Um, you think if you just get a whole side the same, then you're like a third of the way done, but it's not really true because these all rows on the side have to be the same too. See all these, these three greens are all lined up, right? So you start out with the white face just because that's like the easiest to remember and you'll make it like a daisy. So actually you want to start with the yellow one. So, if you think, well, my point was that if you have to get them all exactly in the same place, like you can't have one of them in a different place than it normally is. They all have to go exactly where they go. So, 3x3x3 three by three by three is 27 blocks. So, there's 27 things you got to get in the right place. But, there's six faces of it, and the ones in the center, these don't move. Like, this is the green face, this is the red face, this is the white face. It's always going to be that way, no matter what you do spin whatever you want to spin it's always going to be right there the white's going to be where the white goes and the red's going to be where the red goes so 6, 27 minus 6 is 21 right I'm going to lean back because I'm getting kind of stressed okay so what you do is you make a daisy so you get the yellow in the middle and you put whites all around it that's pretty easy to do you just spin it and then it goes on there spin that one it goes on there um, see this one I spin that it takes the place of that one how do I do this where you can see it see that it's the same one there so you have to move it to the side and, uh, and then you spin it so now we got a daisy don't worry about this corner one because that doesn't matter I think my camera's backwards I think that's why I'm getting confused I don't want to fix it right now though so once you get the daisy easy enough, you just you align these colors to the next row. So like, uh, let's see, see how I've got two reds? I got the white and the reds, and so then you can take this red and you just spin it down to the bottom. Go to this one, spin it until the greens are lined up. Now you got the greens, you spin it to the bottom. All right? You got the blues lined up. Spin it to the bottom. You get the oranges that are already lined up. You spin it to the bottom. And now, look at there. We got the white cross. That's your first level. So this is the beginner method, right? There's like four or five different methods. The beginner method is just the beginner method, I think is what it's called. And then there's a method called the CFOP, right? I think that stands for cross, first layer, outer pairs. So we're going to do this layer by layer. The beginner method is like you do the cross, then you do the whole white section, and then you do the middle part, and then you do the top part, and then you like rotate the corners to get in the right place, and then you rotate them so they're all facing down, and then you fix the whole face, and then you're done. So it's like a lot of steps. So this isn't even really a speed cubing uh, method, I don't think. So this is the pretty fun part, I think. So when you got the white cross, you got these three corners that are wrong, right? See, this one's actually right because it's already got the blue and the blue and the red and the red matches. So this one's in the right place. So you look at the other ones that have white on them, right? So this one's, what is that? Aren't, it's red and green, right? My camera's not really that good for color. So you find the face that has red and green. So now we got a green face, we got a red face, we got the green and red in the right corner. So then you do what's called the sexy move, right? So the sexy move, uh, this is backwards, but you go up, you go across, you go down, and you go right, right? Like that. See how I did that? Do that real fast. When you do that enough times, it'll eventually work. Wait, that's the one that was already right. No, that's, that wasn't the right one. There, now it's there. So we got the red and blue, and we got the red and the green. So now you go to this one. 
Uh, we got an orange and we got a green, right? So you put it. Wait, what? What's the orange over here? Oh, I gotta pop it out. Sometimes you gotta pop it up to the top so it's in the right place. So now we got the orange and the green. We got an orange gray face and a green face. So you put this so the corner is facing you, right? And you go up, left, down, right. Now it's in there. So then you go to the other one. Where's the other white one at right there? So we got the white. Now I got the one underneath the white. And wait. Now we got well now I got the white side done. So once you get the white side done, then you'll see all, you got a T, right? Because you got them all lined up, right? We got an orange T, we got a green T, we got a red T, and we got a blue T. Upside down T's. So now we gotta get these side edges. That's the next step. So what you want to do on this one? The yellows is kind of like the ones you want to ignore because that's going to be the top. And uh, so you look on the top that doesn't have any yellow. So you've got a red and a blue here, right? It doesn't have any yellow on it. So that has to go between the red and the blue faces. So you find your red and blue faces and you spin it so that it matches one of them. So we got the red and the red, and we want it. We want it to go to the left right <laughs> correct left we want to go to left so what you do here is you do a left um, you spin it away so you're not messing with it and then you go up left down right that's the right that's the left-handed algorithm and see now we got the white over here we got to spin it then we go left turn on back and now it's in the right space see see smart um, I should have been doing this like on a timer. Let's see, now we got like this red and green one up here, right? So we take the red and the green one, we'll put it over here. So now it's matched up. So we want it, we want this one to go here. So we want it to go left. So you move it to the right. And you use your left hand because you want it to go left. So you go up, left, down, right. And then you turn it so the white's in the corner. And you up, right, down, left on your right hand. You do a left hand and then right hand. Or you do a left hand and you spin it and then you do your right hand. If you want to go left, if you want to go to right, you do the right hand, spin it, go left. It's kind of tricky, but that's how it works. And this one we want to go right, so we'll spin it to the left. We we'll go ba 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 ba. And now it went that way. I think I fucked up one of them because I'm missing one. This one here, we we'll go right, and then spin it. So now we got the two layers done on the bottom, right? So now we're about halfway done. The top part is the hard part. This is where you can really fuck up and you have to start over. <laughs> so uh, you want to get a yellow cross, which we just happen to already have. So this could have been, I could have broke my record maybe. Um, yeah, I don't even have to show you the middle steps. If you have a line, you do a certain thing. Like you'll turn one face, and you go left up down right and turn it back if you have a, a right angle like this you turn that towards you you turn two of them you go left up down right and you turn it back so it does it does when well, you got to do stuff and then it moves it in place and then you undo everything you just did so it doesn't mess up the bottom part that's how the, the algorithm works so then you kind of spin it until you get it to where you've got the most amount of corners right. I don't think any of these are right. Just red and orange, blue's got to go way over here. So I think we're going to do this. Uh, to move the corner pieces, you got to do... See, I have my notes at work. <laughs> Let me try to remember how to do this. You do one, two, three right-handed algorithms. And then you turn it to the left and you do one, two, three with the right hand. Remember I said like you could really easily fuck it up. I easily fucked it up. So I gotta do I gotta do one of these steps over again. Hang on. 
So it's hard to do when you're under pressure like this. Just saying. I'm not doing multiple takes. I don't have time for it. I've got to play Diablo tonight. So I ended up with the bar this time. So the bar, you do the one face, one, two, three, four, turn it back. So now we're back to a plus. We've got the cross again. So now you check your corners. We got this one in the right place. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Turn it. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I'm not really good with the left handed algorithm. That's why I keep turning it wrong. So now, wait, this one right? We got this one right. These two are wrong. Shit. Those are diagonal, which means you gotta do it twice, which takes more time. Then you gotta turn it like this. Man. This is making less and less sense. Yep, 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 yep. Blue, orange. Okay, so we gotta swap these two now. One, two, three, four, one, two, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right? Okay. We got all the corners in the right places. It doesn't look like it's solved, but it's solved. Then we just gotta get these yellows turned upside down. So you flip the whole thing so the white's on the top, right? Now this part really fucks you. This part. You have to do the complete one up, right, down, left algorithm to turn it down. So you get it where the yellow is on the corner facing you. And you do up, right, down, left until it is facing down. But even if it faces down before you're done, you still got to do that top part. See there, it's done, but I still have to do this top part. If I didn't do that top part, I'd fuck the whole thing up. Now you don't turn the cube. You got to do a down move like this. You got to spin it like that so that it's in place. And then you do the same thing. You go up, right, down, left, up, right, down, left. And now we got the yellow side done. So now we just gotta fix these corners for the side pieces. So we got the blue side done. We got the yellow side done. Now all we got is these little fucked up ones right here, right? But now we're good. All you take is the, the side that's done, you face it towards you, and you do a righty, you do a lefty, and you do five righties. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that's five. Now you should have it looking like that. Now you do the left one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's two. One, two, three, four. It's three. One, two, three. It's four. Two, three, four. Didn't fix it. I think I fucked it up. But I'm still where I was, though. I'm still good. So I'm going to try it again. Righty, lefty. I always have to do this twice for some reason. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Now we're done. We solved it. How fast was that, boys? 18 minutes. Yeah, I did some talking before I started, but I, uh, I got it done in like less than 20 minutes. So that's how you do, that's how you solve a Rubik's Cube. Anyway. <clears throat> um, I'm going to open up my good ones. Where's my little cutter? Come on, I'm going to need a cutter knife. Where'd he go? He's under my mic. So I got a 2x2 two two in here. I got another 4 before, faster. I got a 5x5. Five five. Or I got a 3x3 three three is faster. I got a 4x4 and I got a 5x5. Five five. Is it a square? I thought I got a great big one, like a pentagram soccer ball or something. Okay, this is a pack. This is the big one. This is. Look at this sucker. Oh boy! So <laughs> this is where you really get into some algorithms with this. I don't even know what you do. I have no clue. I don't want to fuck it up. So 
I'm just going to leave it like it is for now. But, oh crap. Just imagine. Oh man, it's pretty slippy. That's going to be nice. I think they, they're supposed to come with a little stand you can sit in. Uh, this pack right here. We got a 2x2, two two, another 3x3. Three three, we got a 5x4, a 4x4, four four, and a 5x5. Five five. So somebody was saying how they're not supposed to be a 6x6 six six because they used to have them on the computer. And if you flip one of the tops, a 6x6 six six is so wide that it would have... See how it kind of hangs over the edge like that? With a 6x6, six six, the whole square would be hanging off the edge and it would just fall off. It wouldn't even hold on to the cube. It wouldn't make sense. So the 6x6 six six and up, they got like a 17 or 18x18 18 18 or something like that. And the corners and the edges are longer than the middle parts because of that reason. Yeah, so... Also, it's cool to like learn new things when you get older. Keep your mind from going stale. Oh my god, this is... Oh, this is slippery as fuck. This is so fast. Oh my god. This is so... This is a, this is a speed cube right here. Look at all the gap. Plus it's like in the middle. It's like curvy. It's kind of like a gel color too. Oh shit. Man, I don't know. This is too slippery. How do you keep it straight? Keep the pieces from like jumbling up. Oh shit. This is gonna be fun to play with. There's like ways to grip it too. There's like people try to figure out like the fastest way to do it. Um I think you want to shoot for under 30 seconds. I can't even like do that with this one. It's too slippy. Oh I can I can. But like if you squeeze it a little bit, it just it, it starts spinning. Um, so they got these little pads that you put your hands on. So you set it down, you put your hands out like this, and you, you can look at it as long as you want to figure out like how to do it. And then you set it down, you put your hands off the thing, and when you take your hands off the thing, the timer starts, and you do it, and you drop it, and it hits the pad, and it stops the timer. So under 30 seconds is decent. And then like there's people that do it like 7 or 8 seconds. And there's one kid that did it like three and a half seconds, but I don't know if he like, maybe he just turned it three times this way, three times this way, so he knew exactly what to do to undo it. Like, I don't know the rules about like how you scramble it, if you have somebody else do it for you, if you can just do it any old way and scramble it. I mean, the colors of this is so like, it looks like a marshmallow candy. It's so weird looking. It'd be hard to distinguish, I think. I feel like they could just pop right off too. They're so loose. See that? They come like way out. Let's see what the two by two is like. I don't know if there's even like a championship for a two by two. Seems like real easy to do. Oh shit, maybe not. Oh, I guess you'd want to get two sides. Two rows of the same. I'm gonna have to watch a tutorial and do it two by two. Um. Shit. <laughs> Maybe so. Look at this. You can even see the screws on it. It's got a little screw there, so you can take the screw and like untighten it, make it more loosey goosey. So, yeah, these don't have little stands with them. I've seen people buy them and they get a little stand. You can set it on your your bookcase or whatever. Like set it up like that. Just like sit there. But this one, I think the way you solve the ones that are bigger than a 3x3 three three is you just do one layer and then you do 3x3 three three with the rest of it and you just keep turning two at a time instead of one at a time. I think. That one's pretty good for spinning. This one is 5x5. Five five. Oh, yeah. This is going to be interesting. interesting. Learning. This one is a little bit. They're not all the same size. Let's see the corner is a little bit bigger. I think. Yeah. 
Maybe I need to tighten up that 3x3. Three three. Anyway, these are all the Rubik's Cubes that I own. So, I'm going to be learning these. I don't know if they want to mess up the bigger ones until I figure out how to solve them. I hope you've enjoyed this, T2. Um, so, yeah, now that I know this beginner method, I've got it down to like six minutes, but that's like probably the hard cap. Um, it takes like the CFOP method, which is really fast. I think it's like 60 to 65 moves, I think, to solve a cube. So, the beginner method is probably like two or three hundred moves or something I did there. I don't even know how many times I did all that. I don't know if like doing that is one move or just doing that is a move. See, with this cube though, with a three by three, the uh, there's a ZZ method and there's a RU method, R O U X method, and there's like a J perm. So I don't even know what any of that means. <laughs> I know like when they say like F prime, that means the front that's facing me counterclockwise. What the fuck was that? It's like some sand fell out of it or something. I just turned it and like I felt something drop onto my leg. Oh, it was a piece of paper, I guess it was in between it. Uh, so there's these algorithm, um, what do they call it? Notations. Like if you see an R, that means turn the right side clockwise one time. If you see an R2, that means turn it all the way a full rotation. If you see an R with an apostrophe, that means turn it counterclockwise. So if, it's, if you see like a U, then it means turn it upside. If you see a D, that means a down one. Upper, down, left, right, and then there's front and back. So a B is back. So you don't, you don't ever see the F and the B. But there's these things like F2L and B, D2L. So I think that's the front. The first two layers, I think, is what F2L means. So you look at it and you just figure out how to do the first two layers and then you just do the top real quick because the top's... Like if you know how to do these methods, it's easier to do that way. RU, R-O-U-X, I don't know what that means. Right, outer, upper, and then whatever X, like a cross. Do the cross last, maybe? And then the ZZ, I don't know what the fuck that is. I think that's where you do like... You look at, you look at pairs and you get two pairs and you... They do a lot of this finger flicking in the bottom. They do this. You see, the, they do like a top, bottom, blah, 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 like this. They're more, they're more like this. I don't do it like that with the beginner method I'm doing. <laughs> like, I do the sexy move. But up down on that. Nah. That's what it looks like when you watch these speed cubers. And then they just throw it. <laughs> That's what I'm going to be doing. I've learned it in three days. I'm going to learn speed cubing in three days also, hopefully. I don't know. 30 minutes is a good video. I'm going to go stream some Diablo 2 for about an hour because then i got to go to bed because my day is already over. That's it.